Hello everybody, it's Amel, and today I'm going to teach you how to solve the construct binary tree from pre-order and in order traversal problem. Given pre-order and in order traversal of a tree, construct the binary tree. Note, you may assume that duplicates do not exist in the tree. For example, given this pre-order traversal and this in order traversal, the method should return the following binary tree. So how can we solve this problem? In order to solve this problem, we need to observe the information that the pre-order sequence gives us and the in-order sequence gives us. As you can see, the first node in the pre-order sequence is the root of the entire tree. And then, we can find out how many nodes are in the left subtree and how many nodes are in the right subtree if we find the root in the in-order traversal. So we know this is the root of the entire tree and then we find this this value of the root in the entire tree in the in order traversal here. So we know that there is one value to the left and we know that there are three values to the right. As you can see, there's one value to the in the left subtree and there are three values in the right subtree. So if we use this information together, we can actually build the entire tree recursively. Let's say we're working with this node we make a new node with the value 3 and that's going to be the root of the entire tree and then we find this position in the in order traverse or the position of the 3 so we know that uh, that there is one node in the left subtree and there are three nodes in the right subtree so we can recursively build the left subtree and recursively build the right subtree by passing the corresponding sequence for the left subtree in the pre-order sequence and the corresponding in order sequence for the right subtree as well so we we have to find every time the index of the root in the in order sequence. If we do that using a for loop, our algorithm is going to take big O and square time, which is bad. Can we do better? Yes. If we use a hash map, we can actually store all these values in the in order traversal in a hash map, mapping to the corresponding index in the in order traversal. That way, we don't have to scan every time to find the corresponding value um, of the pre-order traversal in the in-order sequence. And we can just look it up on the, in the hash map in constant time. That way, our algorithm will have a runtime complexity of big O of n. And, but the space complexity is going to be big O of n as well. So without further ado, I'm going to show you how to write the code. First, I'm going to have a map from integer to integer map then I will iterate through the in order traversal for integer i is equal to zero i is less than in order that length plus plus i and the map that put I will put in order sub i mapping to the index i. That way, when I'm looking up the corresponding index of the root in the order sequence, I can just use the map to do it in constant time. So then I'm gonna call a recursive method. I'm gonna call a helper. So return helper. First, I'm gonna pass the pre-order. Um, the pre-order pre start is gonna be zero. The pre-order end is going to be pre-order that length minus one. Then I will pass the in-order sequence, and the in-order start is going to be zero, and the in-order end is going to be in-order that length minus one. And I will pass in the map. Now I have to write this method the helper method. So I'm going to have private, it's going to return a pointer to tray node helper. It's going to take in an array of integer pre order, integer the pre start, the pre order start, I'm going to call it p left. Also, the pre order end, I'm going to call it p right, an array of integer in order. I'm going to have in order start, I'm going to call it I left. In order end, I'm going to call it I right. 
and a map from integer to integer map. So first I need a base case and the base case is if I'm out of bounds. So if p left is greater than p right or i left is greater than i right i just return no because i'm out of bounds okay then as i said i have the root of the entire tree which is three and i also want to find out the index of the root in the inner traversal so i would call that index i integer i gets a value of map that get pre-order so p left then I will make a new node I will call it cur and the value of that new node is going to be the value of the root so I make a new node and this is the root so it needs to have that value it needs to have that value so pre order so p left and now I just need to build the left subtree recursively and the right subtree recursively so cur that left gets a value of helper I need to pass in the pre order pre order now I have the root at position p left so the pre order sequence for the left subtree has to start from position p left plus one because the root for this for this tree is a position p left so now for the pre-order sequence for the left subtree it starts at the position one after so p left plus one all the way to p left plus i minus i left so this is the end of the pre-order sequence so you know that if I say I minus I left I get the number of nodes in the left in the left subtree uh, because I is the index of the root in the in order sequence so if I say okay the index of the root is 1 so I can say 1 minus i left which is zero initially one minus zero is one and then i say p left plus one that would be zero plus one which is one so the end of the pre-order sequence for the left subtree is p left plus i minus i left i also need to pass in pre or in order from position i left to position i minus one and the map so i left stays the same but the in order sequence for the left subtree doesn't include the the position of the root so i have to subtract one from it so for instance this is i so the in order sequence for the left subtree it's gonna end at i minus one. It doesn't include the three. Then I do the same for cur that right. I build the right sub tree recursively. So helper pre order. I say from position p left plus i minus i left plus one. So as you can see. Uh, this is the position uh, for the pre-order sequence in the right subtree p left plus i minus i left plus one all the way to p right and then I also need the in order from position i plus one all the way to i right and I pass the map so once we build the left subtree recursively and we build the right subtree recursively we just return the root 
I'm gonna run the code. It seems to be working fine. I'm gonna submit the solution. All right, this is working perfectly. So the time complexity is big O of n, and the space complexity is also big O of n. If you like this video, please press the like button. Don't forget to subscribe, and see you next time.